Hello, my name is Philip Dow. I've been working on a player for the Oculus Rift and hopefully some other VR devices in the near future. Um, designed to play back video uh, in a 360 degree format. Whether you want to watch a cinema, uh, like uh, your videos in the form of a cinema, or if you've got like fisheye content or panoramic content and watch, want to watch that. So I'm going to go through just the installation process, what it means and also, um, also just the general functionality of it. So first off, if you go to my website, whirlygig.xyz, uh, forward slash downloads you can then uh, go to the down well you've got the downloads page and then you can click to download your version that you're actually after whether it be 64 bit 32 bit there's an apple mac version but it's a bit older um, but it's available and you can give that a go so i've actually already downloaded the player uh, installer so i've got that on my desktop here to demonstrate so i'm going to close that down so if i run this click run And we've got the first window screen, so if I click next, uh, you can have a dial, uh, put it onto the desktop shortcut and a lab video codec. Now this codec is uh, designed to be installed with the player, so you can play back all the formats that are required, such as MP4s with H.264s, flash films, any video format that you can think of. Um, then it should this will give you the access to be able to uh, play back those videos. So if I click install. Uh, click next uh, you can see there that you've got the audio and the video and the splitters there uh, all of these just keep our standard uh, standard install and just going through and install them and once it's installed it will also get registered as the default codec and you can uninstall this through your program file uh, program uninstall a program from your control panel if you want to uninstall it later uh, so we click finish and we click next to create the group and then I'm not going to open it straight away. I'm just going to run the Whirly. Uh, no, wrong way around. I'm going to run Whirly Gig rather than open the README file. The README file is also accessible. So as as we can see, it's uh, it's starting to load here. So there we go. We have the actual player ready and waiting. So if I click to get rid of the uh, get rid of the health and safety screen, so you can see that we've got the player here. Now. There's two ways in which to control the player. One way is to do it through the keyboard, another way is to do it through a gamepad. Uh, I'll uh, just go to the. Uh, you'll see here in the in the install folder that you've actually uh, in your start folder you've got a Whirly Gig folder. So if I click on there, you've got several options here. So you can run the player or the Direct Rift version, uninstall, README, and you've also got gamepad keys, which I'll uh, point out a bit later. So if I open the README file first, just to demonstrate we have here just a list of the standard keys that are available so you've got like a mirror you can stop it from being mirrored to the desktop you can swap the eyes left and eye right uh, left eye with the right eye if you're uh, watching uh, left if you're watching uh, films or what, looking at stills which have stereo and the uh, it goes right eye left eye uh, you've got loop which will loop a video continuously glue glues the actual uh, video to screen to the actual screen so if I if I just move that there so as you can see there as we're looking around the actual uh, the menu system which if you push up and down will go through the actual options is independent if I press G it'll get glued to the screen so if you were lying down in bed and you just you can be able to see the actual menu so if I press it again it'll unstick that um, there's a few other options. Uh, I won't go through all of them, but uh, read through them, and they'll change quite a lot because uh, the player's constantly being updated. But I'll go through the standard ones as as we go. So first off, when you open the player up for the first time, you can see here that we've got uh, we've got a kind of cube scene. There's a couple of examples here just to, uh, just to show you. Uh, something as soon as you start up the player, and they're just stills. So you've got the fisheye 360 degree one, which you can see it's a dome side by side. Um, if we go up, so we push up and down, that goes up and down the actual tile. Video, go to NASA Sun in 3D. You can see, look round, and you see it's just a, it's an actual 3D sun. Now, obviously, you'd like to play your own films. So if I press F8 on the keyboard we get an actual explorer menu. So if I go up through the explorer menu, up folder, up folder, up folder, up folder, up folder, 
uh, we go to the actual um, discs. If I go into D drive, I've got some films, a, couple, a film trailer and a 360 degree film in here. So if I click on Vortex, or I'm gonna uh, go to the inside out official trailer. So now that's loaded in. So as you can see, we've got a standard setup. Now it takes the settings of the previous video into account. So as you can see, that it doesn't look quite right. We've got half of the screen in one, half of the screen in the other, and that's because the format is set to cinema curved side by side. So if I change that, you can see it immediately crops it to a standard, so it's like being in a cinema looking straight forward. If we come down to tilt, we can tilt it up and down. So if we wanted to watch a film in bed, we could tilt it so we could lie back and watch it. Uh, scale increases and decreases the scale. The distance in meters increases and decreases the distance from the user. And if, the, if it doesn't look quite right, doesn't get the aspect ratio right, you can change the stretch as well. And this is done with the left and right arrow and just up and down. So if I go back to, now if I just want to type in a number and just let it go, then it will uh, then it will take that number. So if I go up to play and press enter, you can press enter at any time during this, but if I go up to play and press enter. So, Riley, how was the first day of school? Fine, I guess. Did you so guys pick I up on that? Forward, mm -hmm. What was that? As you can see, there's an actual green bar at the bottom there that indicates the amount of time forward and backwards. Was it a bear? There are no so bears. Right no. What do we do? It's just left and right while the video is playing. Uh, you can also press uh, F1, uh, page up and page down, and that will skip forward a minute and back a minute uh, if you want to do it that way as well. Uh, so I'm going to de demonstrate one other video, which is a 360 degree video. So if I go to video. Now, now if I press F. Uh, now. Now we're in that folder, I could actually just go left and right and it will cycle through all the films within that folder. Like so. So that's the video I'm playing next. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to demonstrate the uh, Explorer again. So press F8, up and down, moves up and down, enter, we'll play the video. So now this film here is a 360 degree uh, 180 degree fisheye in stereo. I know the settings because the person uh, who made the film I know and I know what he specifically wants. So if I go through and set it up the way in which I know he wants it, so side by side, uh, it's a 45 degree tilt, it's a 180 degree field of view, and the radius is 20, and the rotation set to zero. I press enter. Yeah, this version doesn't have any sound. Sound can actually come separately with this version, but uh, it helps to demonstrate it anyway. So if I move forward, and there you go, this is a 360 degree, it's a 180 degree film, it's all around you. Uh, once you finish working, uh, playing around with it, you can just press escape and it'll quit, or you can go down to quit, and it'll quit, like so. And next time you open it up, it'll be at the same video, and you can just start watching whatever you were watching previously again. A uh, couple of extra features that we've got. As, you, as I said, it's uh, available on the start menu. So if we look at uh, Whirly Gig, you've got this start menu here. And we have a new feature which is called Gamepad Keys. So if I click on that, there we are. An actual window opens up. And this is the Gamepad Keys. Um, because the Oculus is in it, come with an actual gamepad, uh, I've I've created a gamepad key option so you can actually change buttons with on the keys and sort of set it up the way in which you want it to do. But if you just want to use it as it is, um, straight out of the box, so you've got the shoulder bars, uh, skip backwards and forwards minute, uh, quit and explore, as you can see it's all set up here, um, you can do so. Uh, and it will just work, it will just work with your Xbox controller. So. Uh, I uh, hope you like the uh, player and uh, if you have any problems or if you have any problems with this video or have any problems with uh, with playback or anything like that, uh, 
yeah, contact me and I'll do my best to actually rectify it. There's constantly new versions coming out. So hopefully if a version doesn't work for you right now, maybe it will work for you in the future. Uh, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think and uh, hope to uh, hope to have you download my player in the future. Thank you very much.